What's up guys, you're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're unboxing one of the most limited shoes of the year, the Soulfly Air Jordan 1 for friends and family. So pretty much right off the bat, you can tell that this shoe is different because it's built with patent leather and the ankle, the heel, the swoosh, toe box, whatever, all patent leather. Not that common for Air Jordan 1s, although there are OG Air Jordan 1s that do have patent leather. So they decided to keep the whole green and orange theme, which is very representative of the city of Miami, but they're not opting for black. So black plays a much larger role in the color profile of this colorway. You see the first all black on the upper, same for this particular shoe, and you can tell that they went for alternate swooshes on the right and the left shoe. The right shoe has a green patent leather, while the left shoe has an orange patent leather. And if you flip it on the other side, they kind of went for the opposite effect. This pair has an orange swoosh on the inner side, and this pair has a green. So they went with the classic black toe sort of color blocking, green on the toe with the orange hits all around the shoe. The same patent leather, of course, the other patent leather shoe that we're referring to is the black and gold OGs that dropped in 85 and again in 2013. And like the release pair, it came with a large gold Jumpman hang tag. It has MIA on the right shoe and 305 on the left shoe. You can see that there's a matching green laces. And of course they use this particular collaboration to debut their new Soulfly logo. Uh, much more fluent and elegant looking than their old logo in our opinion. And on the inner side of the shoe, there's a stitching that it's like a nod to the OG Air Jordan 1s. It's at 223. This is pair 112 out of 223. Quite a coincidence because 112 represents Brooklyn. So another nice little touch is that the new Soulfly logo. Another little touch is that the insoles feature the new Soulfly logo as well as the Jumpman. And you have uh, the state of Florida sort of mirror imaged. And you can see the city of Miami called out by that dot. It looks like a tornado, which I feel like is a little strange, but <laughs> no detail left unnoticed. They did a great job with this collaboration. Definitely one of the shoes of the year. Resale prices are going nuts, minimum at 2,000. The friends and family pair are probably way above that. You know, Jordan 1s are kind of hard to screw up. You know, the real focus is the colorway for the Jordan 1 because it's such a simple and timeless shoe that you know, if you do too much with it, it kind of screws it up. So they went with a very clean and simple color blocking, material treatment. They added their own little touches in the logo as well as the Miami Collapse on the inner side of the tongue. So, you know, they did a hell of a job. So big shout out to Soulfly. Thanks for sending us over these pairs. For you guys watching, we hope you learned a little bit something and, you know, maybe let us know in the comments if you like the patent leather friends and family version over the release version. And we'll catch you in the next video.